A U.S. nuclear-powered supercarrier arrived in Busan this morning. It's the latest addition to an ongoing combined military exercise between the two allies and the latest show of force after North Korea's nuclear and missile tests. Kim Min-ji tells us more. The USS John C. Stennis nuclear-powered supercarrier arrived in the southern port city of Busan on Sunday to participate in an ongoing annual military exercise between South Korea and the United States. The 100,000-ton vessel is the size of three football fields and is loaded with some 80 advanced aircraft. The supercarrier will lead the USS John C. Stennis strike group, which consists of the Stennis, as well as guided missile destroyers, USS William P. Lawrence and USS Stockdale, among others. Seoul and Washington launched the drills last week called Key Resolve and Fall Eagle, during which they aim to strengthen their defense cooperation against North Korea's escalating nuclear and missile threats. The deployment of the supercarrier is one in a series of military assets the U.S. has dispatched the peninsula in a show of force after North Korea's provocations earlier this year. After the North's nuclear test in January, the U.S. deployed a B-52 strategic bomber to South Korea, and in February, following the North's missile test, it dispatched the nuclear-powered USS North Carolina attack submarine. The U.S. also sent four F-22 stealth bombers to South Korea last month. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.